Hello everybody and welcome to this quick demonstration in which I'm going to show you how we can export 3D models we created in Viscom AI, open them in Blender 3D so we can adjust the scale easily. If we continue working in Blender then we are good. If we would like to import these models which will be exported as GLB from Viscom, you use them in other CAD programs, let's say like Shaper or SketchUp, then we can use Blender to export them into a format these programs understand. Okay, with all that said, here are my humanoids. I will take care. I have multiple 3D models in this design. And then to export everything, you simply go share, export, 3D models and then you see you will get kind of like a pop-up that's downloaded. Okay let's go to the downloads folder and there we are you see this is a zip file. I on the Mac double click export it and there it is. Perfect. Okay now so these models are the individual 3D versions. Let's go to Blender. In Blender now I can go to file import and then here is uh, GLB. Go to the folder where everything was downloaded. There we are. And here I will use this one and import it. Rotate around and there she is. Pretty cool, no? Uh, let's go to here one more time and I will use this version. This is for example her with a skirt import this version that's our guy import and this one there we have him pretty cool okay so if i click on a figure i see that figure is 39 inches tall well, that's not really very big. So I'm in Blender. Uh, I can set everything up to be an imperial in inches. And let's say that should be a six foot tall person. So I simply type in six and the symbol for uh, feet. Enter. There it is. She's kind of stretched and that's okay because, or normal, because I only adjusted the vertical scale factor. So this value I copy with control C and then paste and paste. And now she has the correct size. And the same I can do with these others. I can manually in, go and adjust everything. Or now you see, I have all these selected, select her, go to here and then say, right click, copy all, to select it. And then you see the scale from this was selected to those. Pretty good. I will go to bounding box and I can move them around. Beautiful. Move her a little bit to there. Him, we will rotate a little bit there, a little bit over. With shift and mouse click, I select all, move them up. So they're standing there. So they have the correct size. I press A to select everything, go to object, apply and scale. Now these humans are really in the correct scale. When you open them in Blender, they will come also with the materials. There, pretty cool, as you can see. Okay, now to export them out to let's say Shaper 3D, I will go to File, Export, and go STL. I only have one person selected, so I could export to the folder all objects or only the selected one. Now it's up to you to decide. Y is forward, Z is up, that is very good. Export, and then I will go to Shaper. And then in Shaper, I will go to add, add file, there is the figure, open. I will select meters because Blender internally works with meters, import, takes a moment, there she is. 
Now, my design is actually also in metric. If I set this to, for example, feet or foot, uh, go in, then I will make a sketch, draw a line and go up. Well, up there you see, six feet. So that person came in to scale. The reason why this is very useful is then we have a reference object to model around, for example. And that's it. Oh, one thing I wanted to say when you bring this over as STL, whatever program, it does not come with materials, just a gray body, which, however, for architectural presentation uh, is also quite okay. The models are detailed enough to see what it is, and being gray is actually a, can be a benefit because then we don't pay attention to the identity of the human, but more perceive the human as scale reference. Perfect.